Hey, Kevin. What are you doing? Oh, I'm just hooking this longevity MIGWELD 140 back up for uh, flux core. Thought I was going to do a little bit of welding. I've had a lot of questions here lately. You know, the differences between flux core and solid core. What the heck is it? What does it look like? Why do I need it? Uh, so, okay, let's talk about it just a little. So, flux core wire, uh, metal wire with the flux impregnated right into the wire. So, it basically replaces the stick electrodes that you would use with arc welding or stick welding. So, this is arc welding or this is MIG welding? Well, it's, no, it, it's just, well, <laughs> gets kind of blurry here. Uh, it's, it's basically the same as arc welding, except that you have a continuous spool which of course makes it MIG welding, but you're using no gas, at least with this type of wire. There is some uh, flux core wire that does use gas, but I just don't have any here. Uh, so, you know, the benefits, it, it's quick, it's easy. You could put it in the machine and take it outside. You know, we, the, the wind doesn't bother it. it. It's just like using a regular stick welder in, in that regard. With the different size spools, of course, you can weld for you know, a very long time. You get a bigger spool of it. You rather than having to change your, your electrodes every time when you, you burn them out with the with a regular stick welder. Uh, smoky, you know, a, a, a downside. Smoky, you know, a little splatter, a little mess, just like an arc welder. Something you have to go back and clean up. You have to chip the slag off, just like with an arc welder. Where if you were running the solid core wire with the inert gas, you don't have any of that. You know, you do a lot less smoke, a lot less things to clean up, a lot cleaner weld, in my opinion, a little better looking weld with the solid core over the flux core. How about cost? Do you think it's a little cheaper to have this, the flux core instead of having to have the gas? Mm, you know, I, I think it's kind of a wash. I, I, I believe the flux core wire is actually a little more expensive for the same size spool as the solid core. But that expense for the, for the flux core, you make up on the other side, or, or you lose on the other side, because now you have to buy the gas. So, so I, I, I think they kind of wash one another out. One's a little more, but the other one has extra stuff to go with it. So, good question. So, what the heck, let's go over to the device and we'll, we'll weld up a little bit and you can see the difference between the two. So I'm just working with some railroad spikes, uh, making one of my railroad spike sculptures. And, like I say, we're using that Longevity MIG Weld 140. It's got the uh, 035 flux core in it. And the, the wire feed is set at 40 and the bolts are set at, uh, at 9 on the, on the dial. So, Slip your helmet on, and we'll make a couple welds here, and you can see what you get. So right there, you know, without even brushing it off or anything, you can see the amount of smoke. And then, of course, you have to come back and knock your slag off, and get your slag out of the way also. Just for the heck of it, let me fire up the other machine and we'll do a solid core weld on the back side. So that was my Miller uh, 251 with 30 thousandths solid core at uh, 20 and a half volts and about 230 on the wire feed. So that's the solid core wire, nice and clean. That's the flux core wire, and you can see the little splatter on it. So if you were being real fussy, you'd go in and grind all those little dingle balls off, you know, clean it all off, get it all smooth again. That's, uh, that's basically the difference between the two of them. Just to check and make sure. 
Well, they hold. <laughs> well, I hope that answers your questions. I'm going to go back to work. See you next time.